Ukraine is messing with a lot of trick-or-treating plans tonight, and officials say it's also making it dangerous for families who are heading out. WSMV's Turkey in the Rain, Brendan Tierney, live with a look <laughs> at what is being done to keep people safe out there, Brendan. Hey guys, yeah, the kids, they definitely don't like when you have to put a jacket on top of their costume. And well, I kind of get them now out here because it's one of those nights you definitely need a coat or umbrella as you're heading out the door to maybe do some trick or treating here along Belmont Boulevard where we are because that rain has been coming in waves. There's been a lot more people coming out here over the past hour or so as the downpours switched over to more of just a drizzle. And police are asking parents to please go out with their trick or treaters, though, to help keep them on sidewalks and make sure they don't run into the street. They also say it's a good idea to have a flashlight or bright clothes so people driving home can see the little ones. And people out here in the area we've been talking with told me that they have a lot of candy and they're ready for big crowds. Where I lived and I grew up, we trick-or-treated all the time, like no matter what. We always were handing out candy or trick-or-treating and getting candy. So I love when people come to my house to get candy because it's like, that's how I felt. I always wanted to go. Mary says she doesn't want to have anything left over at her house coming up later tonight. And we've seen a lot of families coming out here, going up onto porches or people who put tents out in their front yard to try to stay dry with this rain still out here in the area. It's more of just a drizzle now, but you definitely do want to bundle up as you're heading out here tonight. Those costumes, if you don't, will be very, very wet by the time you get home. Live in 12 South tonight, Brendan Tierney, WSMV4. The turkey himself, Brendan. Thank you. <laughs>